Needless to say, it's pure pleasure to help them in the, to achieve their poetic aims as much as we can do in this short time. Okay, as long as it doesn't uh, exhaust your patience too much, um, and the uh, receptionist isn't due to start for an hour and a half, I'm not going to go on for that long by any means, um, I thought I would read you some more of uh, my own poems, and of course at the end, um, take any questions or discussion that any of you might uh, wish to uh, instigate. I thought we might have some uh, slightly more serious poems, and then some uh, very considerably more frivolous poems, uh, hopefully in that order, may um, satisfy. Um, on page 19 of your handout, um, you have a serious poem, uh, without uh, translation, I'm afraid, but uh, you do have the text, um, which I wrote for Kentucky uh, last year, when I was invited to um, address that uh, conference. And the title is The Great Wall, not the Great Wall of China, but um, the Great Wall in the American Cemetery in uh, Cambridge, Cambridge, England, where I live. <coughs> now, I forget the precise wording, but it, it says something like, on this wall, on the, on the Great Wall, are written the names of those um, American servicemen from the Second World War uh, who have no known grave, but who died in the European uh, theater of operations. And it's also a very, a quite large and moving cemetery of people whose graves are known, uh, spread out uh, in front of you. And um, like the cemeteries in Normandy and so on, um, for the most part, the people buried in Cambridge were members of the Air Force, as the air bases um, for the Second World War were in eastern England, in the region where I live. And as well as um, sort of commemorating the sort of bonds of friendship between um, England and America that were further forged by the shared experience of um, fighting the terrible war against uh, Hitler. Um, this poem uh, also um, is a little bit of a metrical experiment in that it includes quite a lot of real names uh, in English. I don't attempt to turn these names into Latin. What I do do is scan them as if they were part of the Latin poem, which I think they are, but scanning them in an English accentual way. I'm not attempting to treat English words as if they are scanned in a Latin way. I'm just scanning them as we scan English poetry but inserting them into the um, Latin meter. And, well, you may see what you think as to how well that works. Um, every single name here is authentic, and since it was Kentucky I was going to, every name is also <laughs> from Kentucky. Naturally, that exercise could be repeated for every single state in the Union. I'm afraid I haven't repeated it for Michigan, but that could be done, um, and indeed it would be genuinely interesting to do so. And some of them, I did find out a little bit about the individual, to the extent the information is obvious um, in the cemetery itself. So, for example, um, what they did. I may pause, in fact, to say a little bit about what, uh, what it actually means. Um, obviously, any uh, death of um, people at any age can be a tragedy. The death of so many young people in the war, such a tragedy. And of course, a tragedy also for the people who uh, were underneath the, uh, the bombers and uh, innocent lives that were lost in France and in Germany as a result. So it's not a glorification of the war, it's a commemoration of these uh, sacrifices. <coughs> and indeed, my own grandfather, who I never met, um, flew in the Royal Air Force um, in, uh, on these bombing missions as well. So these, these young men from Kentucky are the, the comrades of my grandfather. So the Great War. It's about, it starts with my own arrival in Kentucky under a ferocious rainstorm as occasionally happens, of course, uh, in Michigan, I noticed in the last few days, as well as uh, in Kentucky. Rima mana neum toni tru Kentuckia tellus accipit adventum fausto proviisque salutat terque quaterque nobus peregrinos dum reddit aistus. Vincula contemplor patrias ungentia nostras Vincula micitiae fuscis fermata procellis. Inscribuntur enim, agno iam nomina muro, ire domo pedibus possum, ne quisque futurus oblivis scatur. Placuit mihi visere muro, atque die solis, portes exquirere cives, post bello nobis, olim Kentuckia visit. <coughs> Dormit humo sanctano biscum femina quaedam, Emily Harper Ray, mensis nam ultimus in lam pugnandi rapuit. 
privatus nomina cellars, cum legione sua, passus sub mensa decembri, nobis cum dormint. Tum lum habit hic, habit illa. Qui tamin in muro scribuntur, semper egebunt, indicio tumuli proprio signo ver sepulcri. Siu mare, siu terra, hailum plerisque per autum, dissoluuntur eis, Passim primordia vitae, <coughs> ignotis colocis requiescunt, nomina restant, commemoranda mihi, cor non, num carmine distat, tram, tam procola nostro labor, ergo nomina reddo anglica, cius solito resonantia timpana pulsu, like a drum beat, begli, bailey adair, begin bottom, Harrison, Harris, Funkhauser, Owens, Payne, Smith, Shelton, McCallum, McCoy. Virgilius quidam, quidam cognavit Homerus. Homer C. Brewer, Echidit, cum Virgil Reynolds. Kentuckiani, Ambo. Troy, <coughs> Dobson, Franz Maravent. Subsidium quidabas nostris, Moriturus in Agonis. Truitt, Turner, Malone, Metz, Mullins. Miller, Pash, Parson, Stirpibus e Multis, Vexillum, Tollit of Unum, Kelly, Kelly, Stein, Van Noy, Swope, Robinson, Reitman, Wisdom, Qui Nomen Dederat Sapientia Mundi. Instructus, Yelton, Latitantes, Submarinades, De Super e Kylo, Patiens reperire volatu, as to say, flying in an aeroplane, looking readily submarines. <coughs> Navibus eque suis, Beaumont ad care paratus, terribiles flamas. A fireman on a navy ship. Horum plerique laborem, susque pere gravem, bombis punire superbus, scotidi exacte, tum circum fulminant aer. Overby, Cornwell, Wright, Scrivener, Donaldson, Creamer, Connor, Decontour, Robustius Arce Volasse, Arx Tamen Explodi, Gito di Rumpiper, Solebat, Lane does you very likely know were called uh, flying fortresses, among other things, but uh, fortresses that were quite likely to explode in midair and often did. Turmea dem capit, Craddock capit Homerum, Purpurio ornatos, a vulnera corda. Decoration known as the Purple Hearts given to wounded uh, servicemen. <coughs> Relictae a eric chiruliae reminisce bantur et ervae. Kentucky known as Bluegrass State. Rivatus Raymond L. Lane descendit in Ostem cum legione secundus et octogesimus <coughs> illam distinct sit numerus delis majoribus aptus. Artillery soldier, 82nd Airborne Division, of course, still exists. Vicinus moro, tamen haudes civis abulla, parte suae patriae. Gerald Lane, Anglus, adibat, bombarum turmas, ocias cognata quid castra. Stuart, Tuttle, Slate, Hall, Hadley, Johnson, Walden, Slusher, Barry, Ratio, Bratton, Pennington, Farnsley, 